All right, so what I did, I took a screenshot of it and then I took that, I'm gonna Google, let's go from the beginning, google.com. I searched for car, doesn't matter. I go on images, I go upload an image, select that. We'll find the image, you click on it. Click on it. And there yeah. you go. Yeah, no. either one. I'm not sure why my no worries. <laughs> no worries. I literally it's it says capture dot png in there. And I it says images and then I go to click the image and I can't click the image, so I don't know how you no worries. Um, I'm pulling it out. Um here's another one. Yeah, we pull it out. Here we go. Upload. You want to have like pretty much your images in the repertoire. Great. Good. So the about three, four images. I want to do this one. It's too generic. It's a video, but we don't need it. All right. So that's one creatives. Okay. Go on list. <laughs> Can write a list. Creatives, which is the images based on these three. Looks like I'm doing it in my, uh, I think it's my document. That was the last time I checked it was. Okay. So the one is the, you know, for the work attorney kind of image that he created. Um, his other ones, the injured and job I like this. See if we can find this one. I think it's um, I swear I thought it was good with like Google and all that. And then I see you like how much you use Gmail and all the Google stuff with it. And it's like I'm I was at like 10% when I thought I was at like 80% knowledge based. Mm -hmm. This yeah. <laughs> oh, he made it. Oh, he made it. That's so funny. He just took this. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Interesting. But let's just save it. And then maybe just we can make it later. So that's that. Second is you create a Google Doc. And based on their ad copies, you write five ad copies for yourself. Okay, so write that's them, one. Write them to myself? Write, write, it, write five versions for yourself. Okay, so and like the- And it doesn't have source? to be like, it doesn't have to be exact. It has to be even better version than this. You take the ideas. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, this is not, I don't think this is good because it's too much about them. And here's like things. This is very lazy. This is, you know, there's some that are short. This I like. It's weird to me that it, the one job on the the workers' compensation help one, it says anyone who's been injured in the last two years, blah, blah. But it says attention workers' compensation received $40,000. That's weird. Like that's making, it, it's almost like it's making a guarantee. Yeah. Okay. So that's. The creative is the second one. You need five of that. So that's on a Google Doc. I'm kind of giving you homework to do. To do. Oh, I'm um, not going to get to make an ad today? Um, you don't have the stuff. If you would have had the creatives and the ad copies, yeah. <laughs> you don't have the stuff to create it. But this is, um, but, you know, we'll do it. Um, so that's the second thing, ad copy. Third is the um, headline and the description. Headline usually is this. So you write five different headlines. Again, it doesn't have to be exact, but just you take some of the ideas and you know you um, you write some. You click on see add details and you'll be able to see their the titles. So there's five titles 
or five headlines, and then also five descriptions. The descriptions are is anything that lowers the risk or gives them an extra benefit or extra reason for them to get their free consultation. So 100% risk-free, no fees, no obligation, no pressure, 100% confidential, things like that. That's your description usually. So you can take a look, you see over here, goals to help the declines get the compensation they deserve. I don't, I don't think it's that great, but things like that. This one, I think that I saw is the, probably the best one. No fee, no obligation, no pressure, like things like that. Free case evaluation, it's a good title. So five, five headlines, five descriptions. Okay. Okay. Number four, I think we are, you have a Facebook page. I have Facebook and I created a Facebook business page and I invited everyone I know to my Facebook group. Okay. What's the uh, message me the link to it? Uh, to the Facebook, to my um, legal or the, my law firm one. Yeah. Your Facebook page. <clears throat> All right, good. So instead of labor law, call it workers' compensation relief, workers' compensation attorney. I will, I will probably call it workers composition relief. Okay, um, I'm trying to figure out how to even edit this at all, but I, I don't it, know how to. Uh, there is a way. I'm sure you'll find a way. If not, um, for, yeah, you will too. You'll find a way. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes okay, I got it. Okay, so now just you said workers compensation law? Uh, workers compensation relief or workers compensation for employees. Something that's kind of makes it about them not about you okay should i change the username or that that's fine um, the most important part is this is this name this this is not as important that's fine if you can change it says, it, it says there's a a waiting period before i can change it but that's fine uh that's fine just the most important part is the is the name okay and it does sometimes take a couple of days for it to get approved but you know by the time we talk next time yeah. this definitely has to be changed um you go on canva you write, write this down, canva.com. Mm -hmm. You create, it's called create Facebook cover. So right here, can create a design, you say Facebook cover. And you keep it very simple. For example, you could go on my Facebook, on my personal account. You can look at a couple of my other Facebook groups, uh, Facebook pages to see how I did it, Just for example. Again, trying to keep it very simple. Again, nothing about you. It's it's you have a catch line for them, you know, get paid for getting injured on the job or whatever it is, some kind of catchphrase that you have that's about mm -hmm. them, not necessarily about you. The benefit of of um, the service. So for example, this one is turn your car problem into cash. Find out if you qualify for replacement car refund or car style and get a free case review. So there we go. Okay, not eligible. Um, Real law group, get your free consultation. No win, no free, 100% risk free. I put you know, some social, uh, social proof icons. This one, I did a year and a half ago, so it's a little bit different but no just keep it censored one line heading large font heading sub headline maybe that's like a call to action and, and then you're kind of uh telling people what what they should do get your free case review you replace your um replace your cover what else um Good job with making some posts. However, again, don't make it about you. Make it some things about workers' comp. So take some of these pictures and stuff or any pictures related to workers' comp and write some stuff. And besides the picture, write some stuff that so that somebody does come on your page for workers' comp. Like, oh, this guy does that. Okay. So uh, fill that up. This is good. Just 
great. This is good. Everything else is good. So you're good. So that's your Facebook page. Um, you do not need Instagram. So don't worry about Instagram. I've never had one. So <laughs> yeah. And then the other thing you want to do is once in, when you're in here, uh, I don't have admin access, but I think yours should look like this. Mm -hmm. You go here, you go under, uh, and don't worry, this is being recorded. So I'll send you this link to this video just in case you do this yourself. You go under publishing tools. So under here, forms library, and then create. So you click forms library. Library. I, when I click that, it says uh, you have you have, your forms have moved to business suite, and it says try business suite. Um, share your screen. One second, let me allow you to share your screen. They did recently update update some stuff. But go ahead. So when I click forms library. Mm, okay, click on business suite. Looks like just recently they keep updating their stuff. It's even me teaching, writing those instructions about how to do Facebook ads, like the things that change like every time. I oh, yeah. Um, create a form. New form, next. All right, so this is how you create a form. For this, it's, you know, it's going to take me like 20, 30 minutes at least for me to, you know, show how to do it. Mm -hmm. It's, um, Let me, I'm going to share my screen and then, and let me go through it myself. So I think you'll be able to learn it better. Um, so let me do a test. Should I be doing it with you? Um, no, because I'm about to go through it pretty fast. Just either okay. just try to understand it and then you're going to, you'll have the recording to kind of, um, follow along. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the leave it as more volume. Um, background image is a very simple image that you have to create. Also, instead of Canva, the size has to be this 1200 by 628 in Canva, you're able to make an image on that size. And nice. it's just going to be an image in large capital letters that says, um, let me see if I can find a sample of it. What is this for this form? This is when you click. When you click, when they click on it, the form pops out and this background comes up on their phone. Wow. And you this just want to keep it very simple. It. You don't want to, you don't want to put any like pictures or anything because you want them to fill out the form. You don't want them to be distracted or having any reason. So I'll give them the call to action. You know, get your free case review and put arrows down. So take yeah. the same idea. You know, if you want, I'll text this to you. More or less the same thing. Uh, emails. Or put it in the put in the thing. Here I'll put in the text. Mm -hmm. So you create that. Here's there's some stuff that I'm about to that you're about to see. Um, but let me just show it. Let me just send you a screenshot of it so you have it. So let's go back to it. So that's the image. The headline is, again, keeping it very simple. Get your free, get your free case review. Okay. Okay. Something like that. Again, you were trying to, you're trying to say it less on purpose. And then you're going to click on list. So then this is what goes over here. So this is like very bullet point benefit kind of driven things, you know, confidential. Five years of experience, hundred percent free case review. It's like straight to the point uh, kind of things, three benefits. So three benefits here. You're gonna click on questions. This is where you create your qualifying questions. You don't wanna ask too many. 
and also um, Facebook is is picky is picky about what words you use here. So for workers comp, let's take a look to see um, what questions we absolutely need to ask. So I remember when I did this, I couldn't ask all these questions. Um, let me think where I did this for. Let me see if I can find it. I think it was, let me find it. What I did for workers comp. Mm. Did it for employment law assist. So we're not creating the ad right now. We're just creating the form. Yes. Workers comp five. So this is what we did. So <laughs> this is what I did for workers comp. I think the problem was it would it would get declined. Facebook didn't like the questions that I was asking. And then this is what I resorted to. What happened to your work? <laughs> what happened to you at your work? Kind of open ended. And then I think that I think that what it would, the problem was I couldn't mention the words injury and hurt. I think that was the issue, if I remember. Okay. Um, for some reason. Did you receive it? It's, it's the, yeah, I'm getting them. They're all text though, because okay. I don't have it. I don't have Mac. Okay, great. That's fine. As long as you're getting it. Yep. Um. So, what happened to you at your work? So let's go back to. The form um, builder, where are we? Here we go, right here. So add a question. You're gonna add a short answer. What happened to you at your work? That's your main question. And then you have your pre-filled questions. These are your contact form kind of questions. First you have your full name, email, and then you also want phone number in this order. Okay, right. that's that's that with all the questions. I would probably just keep it as like that. Privacy, you put the link of your privacy, privacy policy there, and you just call it privacy policy. If I have a link. I, have, I hope you do. <laughs> if not, you could just create one on your website. If not, you could also make it with ClickFunnels. Custom disclaimer, oh. um, it depends on TCPA concerns. This is where you could put some stuff about um, You know, if you, if you want to send automated text, that's where you would basically put it. You just call it terms and conditions. I agree to receive automated text and emails by the name of the law firm, blah, 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 by submitting this. So if you want to add that, you could. Sometimes I add that in there, sometimes I don't. And then completion is what they see on the thank you page after the lead is uh things so they say great expect a call from us and say hey basically i'll be you know have some language and maybe i'll be able to give you let's see so something like this i will text this to you <laughs> giving all my resources <laughs> Something like that. Hey, you're gonna receive a don't call another lawyer. Pick up your phone. Uh, pick up your phone, and you get a number from me. Um, and then also, I say if you for immediate results, uh, click the button to call us now. Okay, so what I do is right here. The, the I, there's a second chance that after they submit the the form answers, I want to push them to just give me a call now. So I say call business. I change it to call now, and I put the phone number, your office phone number here. Okay, that's that. Good. Does that make sense? When you publish it, it shows up on that Facebook business page. No, after the lead, uh, after the lead fills out the answers your question, and then their name, email, and their phone number is auto filled. This this when you push publish, then the bottom right there, it goes up to the, your Facebook page. Yeah, it's 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 tied as, to your Facebook page. Yes. Like as a post. 
no, as, as the lead form. You're creating the lead form for the, when you're creating the ad, you're going to say, hey, use this lead form, basically. Okay. But you're not done. There's more settings. Make sure that it's open. Your ad, your ad can be shared and anyone can submit this form. <laughs> so you definitely, I don't know why yeah. by default they put a restrict this to put that as a free win. And then over here, you know, um, keep it as it is, keep it as it is. And yeah, just uh, and then you publish. Okay. You create your form. So that was it. Uh, I think this is, I might actually use this part of the clip too. Uh, if any of our le other legal funnel students ask about it, I could just use this clip actually. Um, and yeah, that's how you create the form. Okay. Cool. So that's that. That was number four or five. Uh, that Thank was you. number. <laughs> I, I, uh, what is it? I Whatever that is. I put number five as new pictures with words about work comp. Yeah, uh, that's fine. So that's lead form. We are going to go. So that, again, there's two types of campaigns you could create. Um, I do not know whether the lead form is going to be better for you or whether we want to send them to a landing page. My guess is that probably lead form is going to convert yeah. better. Um, we'll see how that does. It's easier usually. That's usually easier to set up. Um, so let's try that first. See how it goes for like a month or two, and then based on that, we'll see whether we may instead we may need to send people to a landing page instead. Um, you have all the creatives. You know you have the other competitors. So you can look at theirs. You can also look at other ones. Again, you go to the Facebook library. You search for workers comp, and then. Click on more results for advertisers, and you'll be able to find other ones. Usually, the ones with more likes are usually more active. This guy looks like he's doing more. He paused in 2018. And he stared up recently. I don't like this. I'm not too fond of this. Yeah, very weak. So, that's not a good example. But, good find other ones. Make, um, you know, create your repertoire. And then once you create your repertoire, you just rename it as workers comp one, workers comp two, workers comp three, four, five, six. You have, let's just say five ready to go. When we create the ads, we just say workers comp one, two, three. We put it up. We have the five different ad copies. We have the five different headlines. We have five different descriptions. Um, once you have, again, I'm giving you the homework to have it next time we meet. You give me all that, you know, I'll be able to share my screen, just set it up for you, or you could do it, set it up yourself. It's much easier if you just have everything and then just do it in one shot. Okay. Yeah. So targeting for you. Yeah. Yours is, I think yours is going to be, it's going to do well. Yeah. Uh, we just have to stick it through. I mean, if you, if you, if this was what you were going to plan on doing, then we, if you want to end now and then I can work on this stuff the next couple of days and the next time we talk, you know. Um, um I wish. <laughs> um, <laughs> we can. Um, let's, anything else besides the, uh, what are model what are module five and six module five is uh, uh automated emails mm -hmm. um when the lead comes in even even especially with these leads especially with these leads contact uh facebook lead form leads because a lot of them the first challenge is when you do get these leads is you always have to get them on the phone as you saw yeah. for the lead sheet that we have so you send you uh you those creating those emails and then the other thing is also setting up automated text. It was too, I had to, I took it off. I, I taught it for the first couple of sessions, but it got, I don't want to overwhelm people. So I took out the automated text. So we'll see if people are interested in the automated text. I could also talk about that, but I can also set that up, show you how to do that too. Gotcha. And the lead comes in from here. Um, what else? Let's 